Hi friends, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. Elicit uses large language models like GPT-3 to automate important parts of your research workflow. When you put in keywords to search for research questions, Elicit scans through 175 million documents and uses semantic similarity to provide you with the best possible results for your query and arranges them in convenient tables and provides information like citations. It summarizes the abstracts and also provides other important information like whether this particular paper has been critiqued by others. Let's meet Elicit, your AI powered research game changer. So let's log into elicit.org and this is what the opening page looks like. So it tells us that Elicit uses language models to help you automate research workflows like parts of literature review etc. You can sign up or you can log in using your Google credentials. You just need to give in your Google password here. So this opens up this interface which is a fairly simple but an extremely powerful interface. So we have to ask Elicit a research question and it will find answers from 175 million papers and we'll very soon see its powerful features. So let the research question be social media use and political participation in India. So out of so many papers, it has narrowed down to 8 papers. I'll have to find out the ones which are relevant for me. So the first one here is a social media use for news and individual social capital uh, so on and so forth. So this is not about India but this is a fairly well cited paper and if I, if I just click on to this, I can see that this is from the journal of computer mediated communication. I get the abstract summary here. It is telling me the outcomes that they measured. The AI will also find out whether there have been possible critiques of this paper and it can show most of the citations where this paper has been cited. On this side, I can see that it is providing me the abstract summary here as well. So I can choose the ones which I think are important for me. I can just uh, star the ones which I think is required. So I'll use this one. I'll use this one. I can clear the unstarred ones straight away. And I'll ask Elicit to provide me more like the starred items. So I'm getting quite a few here as well. But here again I see these are from many other countries and not from India. So I can go and filter and provide the keywords. So I can provide India here for example. There are other filter options as well. I can go for a particular year. So if I need a cut of year I can go there. I can also have a study type. So I'm just going for the keywords and I'm adding that keyword here. So here I get a lot more from the Indian context. So for example, the first one here, Twitter in 2019 Indian general elections, trends of use across states and parties. So I might decide to use this. Then there are other ones as well. There's another one which has 10 citations. I can use this. There's another one here. So now I'm getting a lot of these papers on India. So these are the ones I can select. I'll clear the unstarred ones and this is what I have here. You can see two columns here. So here's the paper title and there we have the abstract summary. So this is a short summary of the abstract of the entire paper. Now if you want more information about these papers you'll have to go to this area and you can add more information that you require. For example, if you want information about the number of participants, we can choose this. 
and it will try and show me the number of participants so in this case there's only one study which has 100 participants the other ones there are no participants and i can find out other information i can find out about the main findings such a useful feature i just click here so when we're doing a literature review this is an extremely useful way getting the summary of the main findings which i can use for my reviews and there are a number of options here as you can see here what are the outcomes measured provides me what are the outcomes measured and information about the authors which are the metadata basically then the population studied the result whether we want a detailed abstract summary so i can have a detailed abstract summary here as well so this is different from the abstract summary that i had it's adding to that and i can also go to the actual paper by clicking on to this here and you can click on to semantic scholar here and here you are it tells you about where this particular paper was published once you are satisfied with the results you can export these results as a bib which can be used in zotero or other such applications or as a csv so i can get it as a csv file here as you can see here it has been downloaded here and the csv file will have all the information of the findings etc and we can take these findings and we can take it on a word file or we can take it on a word processor so this is just one very simple use of using it for literature reviews another use is for brainstorming on ideas so this is what i searched for if i just click on to this and i click on to brainstorm questions for social media use and political participation in india this is what i get what is the relationship between social media use and political participation in india how does social media use affect political participation in india what are the consequences of social media use on political participation in india now we can go back to tasks and see that these are the two options which are elicit recommended for example literature review we just saw and the brainstorming research questions so i can just ask it again the same question so here are the options i get are the differences between social media practices of advantaged and advantaged people do social media use lead to greater participation in politics or is it the other way around so these are the options that are available for me and if i can use a custom result also if if i have one in mind i can provide it here i can star it ask them to show it again for example i can put in uh, so this is a custom result that i want to add does social media use differ by political preferences and this is the custom result and this has been starred now so i can ask elicit to show more like starred so the one that i've added as you can see here there are quite a few research questions which are similar to the ones that i've just added so i can just find the ones which i find relevant i can just star it and i can download these results as a csv or i can just see the starred files here so this is the starred files all the starred files that i have gathered are here i can simply copy and paste this so as you can see here apart from these two tasks which are recommended by elicit which is literature review which we've seen earlier and brainstorm research questions there are quite a few other tasks which have been created by others and i'll try and show you a couple of them So for example this one is quite useful get independent variable and dependent variable from hypothesis question or statement you put out a question and using gpt3 it will try and list the independent variable and the dependent variable you can look for search terms you can rephrase a sentence i'll try and show you this one abstract summarization so this one summarizes a existing abstract and provides details on that So for example this is the paper we have the virtual sphere from new media and society it's a 2002 paper I copy this abstract 
and ask Alice to summarize it. So I just paste it here and I enter. It provides a detailed summary of the abstract. It provides us information about the discussion that this abstract has is about the four ways that the internet has augmented or curtailed the public sphere so we can use these and we can start these and use it for our own literature review and download it as a csv and here i get all the details and i can use this on a word processor or any other place similarly there are tasks like method a divisor it can try and provide you steps to solve a question or a task so let's try this out so this is the information i provide for this method divisor work in progress we tell them that post graduate students in communication studies in kolkata spend a substantial amount of time on watching korean series i can add tv series here so this is what I get here hire communication designers who work with Asian television to compare visual compositions in Korean shows versus Indian what is the task that needs to be done once we have a certain or once we have made a certain progress hire a group of experts in Korean entertainment industry and communication studies to help you make this website more reliable hire a field researcher to gather data from the students in Kolkata analyze another TV series from a different country study the reaction so the ones that you feel are useful you might not need all of them quantify the time spent on watching korean tv series observe the tv series and find the common threads between them you can add your custom result or you can ask it to show more like starred you can gather qualitative data rewatch the tv series and chronicle the common themes understand these habits to students of similar demographics select case studies from india talk to students who lived in kolkata about their favorite television shows compare the actions of postgraduate students in bangalore i can clear and start questions i can download these and as you can see that the ai application has provided me with a lot of doable tasks and these are quite useful for my work so there are many other things that you can do here as you can see that there are such wonderful things that this application can help a researcher with thanks for staying along friends as always it was a delight having you here i'll be back with another explainer video very soon till then have a great time